In this video, we're gonna talk about the new meaning of fear. So, the one thing I can tell you from all the people that I've trained all around the world over the last 10 years, the one thing that comes between them and what they wanna achieve in life is fear, right? So, you've all seen this word and you've probably seen different variations of this word. Now, I'm gonna tell you with my new definition of fear, so a lot of people say that it's false evidence that appears real right? 95% of all the things that you think about don't actually materialize, which is true. Or you can face everything and run. Or you can face everything and rise. But I'm going to give you a new definition. This is something for me that if you want to overcome fear and, and really get rid of that so you can go out and start taking action. Imagine if you lived a life with no fear and you imagine what you could achieve. So I'm gonna give you my definition of fear. So the F stands for feel, right? So to overcome fear, the reason we have fear is because we don't know what's gonna happen. It's the fear of the unknown which actually makes us fearful. So if you ever watch a horror movie and you see one of those scenes where people are walking about and you've got that music that comes and something's gonna jump out, it's that you, you've got that, that feeling. So whatever thing that you wanna do, whether you want to start a business, you want to get a new relationship, you've got to start feeling it, see what it feels like. So, for example, when I go into business, I want, I want, I want to know, I want to kind of dip my toe in. You know, Warren Buffett says that you shouldn't put two feet, you know, you shouldn't test the waters with two feet, but only one thing, just dip your toe in, right? So you can get out. So you want to feel it because when you feel it, you start to understand it, you get to see what it's like. So when I was in business and I started 10 years ago, I started start feeling out like what was it like to not work in a job, what was it like to go out and get my sales, what was it like to learn about marketing, I started to feel that process and the, one of the best ways to feel the process is to hang around people who are already a part of that process. So what I would do is I would be a part of finding out all these different things of all these, what these people would do and I would sit down with them and I would kind of feel them out. So. Fear, fear, the F in fear stands for feel. So replace the fear now with feel it, okay? Second one is to educate, right? One of the reasons why people don't like fear is because, again, they are unfear, they, 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 they don't know what's gonna happen. So you have to educate yourself because when you educate yourself, you start to de-risk yourself. So for example, I made my first million in real estate at the age of 27. So one of the biggest fears was, what if I buy a house and, and the house prices crash? Everybody around me was saying, John, don't buy a house. I said, why? He said, because the house price is gonna crash. And if you buy it at this price and it crashes to this price, you're gonna lose a lot of money. So one of my biggest fears that stopped me from buying a lot of property early on, and I regret that I wish I'd have bought way more properties than I have right now. I educated myself in that field. Right, so what I understood was there's only two risks when it comes to property. Number one, yes, is the house prices falling. So as I started attending seminars, I started to, you know, uh, educate myself. And I actually created a video on this, on some of the things that you need to do in order to become successful. If you haven't watched that one already, one of them is learn before you earn. I'll link it around here somewhere or in the descriptions so you can check that video out. But when I educated myself, I found out number one, if the prices has crashed, how much were they crashed by? So in the UK, when I looked at how many prices crashed, they got down by about 15%. So I thought to myself, well, how do I mitigate? How do I de-risk that? And the way I de-risked it was to have that, that whole process. If a property was worth you know, a million, I would buy it 15% or even 20% below what the property's worth. Right? Again, in the other video, we talked about you know, buy low, sell high. So this whole process, if it's worth a million, I buy 800,000. Even if it crashes by 20%, I'm still in the money. So this is how I de-risked myself by having education. And of course, the other one was, what happens if the interest rates go up? So then if I'm going in, I wanna lock in my interest rates. So if it's locked at say 3%, if it goes to 10%, I'm still again in the money. But I didn't realize I wasn't educated, that's why I was fearful, because I didn't understand what to expect. But the moment I educated myself in this, guess what? It all became clearer, I became more confident. So, the only reason why I have fear is because we don't have certainty. The only reason why I have fear is because we are unsure. And if we are educated, does that make us more unsure? Or does that make us more sure? 
You see? You see how this works? Let's go to the next one. This one here is, um, actually, let me do this in a different color. This one is action, all right? So the, we only understand, we learn things by seeing, we learn things by hearing, but we learn even more at a much accelerated rate by taking action. So the more action we take, the more failures we make. Let me say that again. The more actions we take, the more failures we make. And the more failures we make means that we can go out there and we know what's gonna happen. Like, imagine taking action. For example, when I was in real estate, I knew one thing. When I would go to make an appointment with somebody, I would call up and say I would meet there at five o'clock. And then I would turn up and no one would be there. And it kept happening over and over and over again. So one of my fears was, what if I go and drive five hours to see a real estate deal and no one shows up? Well, guess what? I already knew that from everyone that I would call who didn't show up, I had to do this instead. I had to say, meet me at the house at 13 minutes past five. I had to make it specific. And every time I made it specific, people would show up. So the more action I took, the more experience I gained. And this is the key. The more action you take, it's like putting the reps in the gym. When you go to the gym, you have to lift heavy weights, right? Because you want this to expand. So when it comes to having that um, expand, we demand the growth within ourselves. And that's why when you have the action, the action now gives you the experience, which then reduces and squashes down fear. And the last one, which is really important, and the R, what does R stand for again? Reward, okay. Okay, and R, the last one, this stands for reward. Most of the times people do things and they don't really reward them. They keep, like, especially, I know a lot of entrepreneurs, they keep working, 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 working. They hit a milestone, they don't celebrate, they work, 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 work. Now, the way our brain works is this. We only do things that we like to do. And that sounds obvious, right? And we don't like to do things that we don't like to, or we are more likely to not do something if we don't like to do it. So how do you rewire and reprogram your brain in such a way that I now do this, I reward. So for example, when, when for me, when I decided to do all of this, I said, when I become a millionaire, I wanna buy my mom a house. And I did. So my mom now has a house and that was a reward for me. And then when I reached this goal, I'm gonna buy my dad a car. Right, so I bought him a brand new Porsche. So that became a reward because it's the reward of serving my parents. Because a lot of you don't know my story. I didn't see my parents really till the age of 11 years old. I was working as a, a dishwasher at my mom's Chinese takeaway and we didn't really have that family bond. So now I get to travel around the world, my family and my friends and, 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 and my mom and dad. And now that's become a reward for doing a lot of this. So when you have reward, again, it distracts yourself from fear and it refocuses your mind on something more positive. So instead of thinking, oh, it's not gonna work, now I'm thinking about what's the reward, right? And I said, you know, when I became financially free, I wanted to build a school out in Kenya, which I did. So this all, now when I think about fee, instead of thinking, oh, it's not gonna work, well, I kind of know what it's gonna work or what's not gonna work. Um, oh, well, what if this and this and this and this and this happens? Well, guess what? I already know what's gonna happen because I've been educated in that. Oh, but what if I do this and it becomes really hard? Well, I'll already know because now I've taken the action, I've experienced. There is no substitute for experience. Experience out of everything that you do in life, that's the thing that's gonna get you results in life. And then, I'm now I'm rewarded, now it makes me like the process. So now every time I'm fearful of something, I switch it to feel, educate, action, and reward. And this is the new definition of fear. So I really hope that you found this useful. And if you love this video, you got a lot of value from this, hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and share this so other people can learn from this. And do me a favor, if you've got any questions whatsoever, leave a comment below, I'll personally come in and answer your questions. And also as well, um, I wanna put another video here as well to also show you how to overcome fear and take massive action to reprogram your mindset. It's John Lee, the author of The Wealth Dragon Way. Bye for now.